Hey there, welcome to Mocap Suite introduction tutorial. This awesome tool enables you to track facial motions and to have full body control over the character in real time. You can control the character with touch controls in the Mocap Suite application and besides that you can track the camera movement there as well. So let's get started. Okay, to install Mocap Suite Blender add-on, we are here in the Mocap Suite Blender add-ons GitHub page. To download it, we have to press the link here and then download button. Here's also the README file for the installation. But after the download is complete, we can go to Blender and install it. Hey! So, okay, to get Mocap Suite working, we have to have Blender too. So, first we have to download Blender, so it's free software. Just go to blender.org slash download. Okay, so we are here in the Blender. Next, we're gonna install the Blender add-on by going to here, Edit Preferences, then we are in the add-ons tab here and then pressing the install button. Then we have to navigate to the zip file we downloaded. So here I have it on the download section of my computer and I press the install add-on. And now, okay, after that it uh, points me to here. I have to enable it by checking the check mark here. So, okay. I press that and ta-da, it's enabled. We, I can already see it here in the side here. So, okay, pressing N, I open the panel here and clicking the tab, it opens. And this is the mockup suite UI. So, all right, pretty nice. Hey, to use the Blender add-on, first we have to press the default model button if we don't have like blend file already having models in it. So pressing that, it's going to download the default model. And after a while it should appear here. And there it is. Okay, here, make sure only to select the armature and then we are ready to get the connection going by pressing the start button. I got the IP and the port there and I got them here in the application. So, uh, obviously I already have the connection <laughs> going on, so press the start and it should be live. Okay, okay cool, we got the connection going on. And we can see that the model in the Blender add-on moves exactly the same in the add-on than in the application. Neat. And I have the camera selected in the Blender add-on. And if I rotate around in the app, you can see it rotates around in the Blender too. And to get the view exactly the same, I can select the camera and press mouse 2 key and set active camera we can see that the view is all also like similar in both so that's convenient if you want to stream or record the camera or stuff like that okay as we can see the character in the blender add-on it's not the same than in the application but there's a button to upload the character straight to the add-on and if I press it there let's see what happens okay the prompt opens I press send and then it takes a while because it's uploading it and then okay nice nice going <laughs> it's there in the blender add-on and yeah, it's you can use it straight away. So I hope you have good time animating using the add-on. I hope you use the characters and stream with them and maybe modify them. Have fun. Okay, cool.